I haven't been here in Royal Opera House since last summer while we were rehearsing to go on tour to Japan. I was there participating as a cover for Manon and Traviata. On a couple occasions, I was asked to step into Traviata by the second act. I fell in love with opera because of La Traviata. I listened to this line, A quel amor, quel amor che palpito dell'universo intero. Um, which is one of the lines that Alfredo sings in really as he's trying to tell Violetta that this love does exist and this could exist for her. And of course her famous line is, to love and be loved alone. I mean this is the most precious joy probably in human life and whether or not she is worthy of it is certainly the cause of the drama. <laughs> My background is, I know, a little bit unusual. Um, unusual for my family, anyway, because um, the musical traditions, of course, would be to go into mariachi singing or pop, maybe, Spanish pop music. I just remember my mother coming to one of the shows, and she said, Mija, which is my daughter, why you suffer? Why? Are you okay? And I said, Mom, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, it's just a play. And, and, you know, I'm not really suicidal, don't worry. <laughs> and she says, okay, okay. And, and I said, Mom, I'm a soprano. I either get, you know, stabbed by mistaken identity or I kill myself because of my love for, you know, the tenor or the baritone. And, um, or, you know, I jump off a wall. It's just a life. Or tuberculosis. But it's just, you know, calm down. It's just a play. <laughs> this is an extraordinary debut to have uh, Violetta be the role for my Covenant Garden debut. It's fantastic, really. It's just um, amazing to be given this opportunity. And of course, uh, when I, I, I told the cast and the crew and everybody, I said, you know, when I say Flora Amici, my first line in the act one, I'll be really smiling because it'd be wonderful to begin from the beginning of the opera and finish the evening. So I'm looking forward very much to the performances. Yeah.